Hello, hello, queens. It's Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. In this video, I will be setting up my budget planner for March. If that is something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, so we are going to set up our monthly for March in our budget planner. I don't think I've ever did one of these on video or if I, I did when I first started in another planner, but not in this one. So I was getting ready to do it. So I just decided, hey, why not let you guys watch, let's talk, let's chat. Maybe you guys can have some ideas when you set up yours. It's not going to be anything fancy because I do keep this one to a minimum because I only use this to look at when I have to pay bills. So the first thing I am going to do is grab all of my stickers that I will be using. Most of them are happy planners and you guys know I have a lot of budget sticker books from the happy planner if you guys can see those um but i will go through each one with you all i am going to start with i'm going to use this one from recollections i picked this one up a while while back and i've never used it. i think i only pulled out one sticker out of here um, besides the months so we are going to pull out I think I'm going to use this font here and I'm going to do March in black and can I put it up here I like to put my washi tape up there so I'm going to put it can I put it here hmm oops no, 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 don't stick. Let's see. Or do I want to put it at the bottom? I think I'm going to add it to the side here. Do something a little bit different. Because I like my words going off the side. Let me see if I can get it here. No, because it's going to go all up on top of there. Uh, yeah, okay, so we can make that work right there. And see how it just goes up. Now, if it didn't go up like that, I'll probably like it a little bit more, but... I don't think I want to leave that there, y'all. Let me see. Hopefully, I can peel it off. Well, it's there. It's there. It'll be fine. I know it's March. And it don't have to be fancy. But I'm going to go back into this book. And we will pull out our numbers. And I think I'm going to go with black. And March the 1st, start on a Wednesday. So I'm just going to go in and put all of my March dates in first. I mean, my Wednesdays dates first and then I'll go back and fill the rest of them in because that makes it easier since it's on two pages that kind of make it easier for me and these are just a set of tweezers that I got from Amazon I purchased this in a kit um, to go with my one of my cake kits I think it was and I never used them so I just grabbed them to put the stickers in my book because it helps me see it better because sometimes I be 
having issues and I want my stickers a certain way and it helps me see my stickers a little bit better. But I'm going to go ahead and get all of these days put in. All right, guys, so I don't think I told you all where I purchased this one from. I purchased this one from Michaels, and I got this one last year, so I will show you the SKU, um, the number, just in case you wanted to go and see if you can find this book. Um, but I don't know if they still have it. And it does have like a variety of stickers in here as well but it's not a budget it's not a budget um sticker book all right let me see do where is my i do want to put some washi tape up here just to decorate the top but i'm gonna go ahead and jump into getting these bills put in here so what I'm going to start off with first is my payday stickers. And oh, this is the Bright Budget Book from Happy Planner. I will be using this one. And this is just the budget book. And this is the front. Um, and then this one is the mini budget book and I love these um, because they are for planners that have smaller boxes I do have a planner with the boxes smaller so that's why I purchased this mini so payday is on the 10th and 24th okay so let me see what else I can get out this book Okay, yeah, so this is the one I'm going to use. And I also have this budget book by Happy Planner. I have like five um, sticker books that's from Happy Planner for my budget. Just in case you guys wanted a little look through. And then I have Save Now, Spend Later. Um, this is the Save Now, Spend Later. And this is very colorful. Y'all know why I like this one. It got all kinds of colors in here. So... So I think I want to use these little stickies here for this month. Yeah, let's go with these. Because I know a lot of people like to do, do the long stickers across. So I'm going to do that for this month. So I think I can put everything in here. Alright, so on the first, let me grab my little tweezers here. And that way I can position it how I want to. So this is for my house. And then for credit cards, I 
have one that's due on the first as well. And then on the fourth, I have a credit card that's due. And then on the eighth, I have a credit card that's due. And I am trying to remember these off the top of my head. So if I have to go backwards, y'all, please, please forgive me. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get this done off the top of my head. So um, on the 11th, I have Netflix. And I also have my light bill on the 10th. So let me see if I can find that. I guess I should have this here, huh? So you all can see. And I like these little stickers here because I don't have to write down the name. I could just, because they have the pictures here. So y'all can see the TV here. That's for Netflix. And this is kind of crooked. So I'm, I know I'm going to pull them off and re-stick them because I'm not going to deal with this being crooked. <laughs> um... So I'm just going to put my light bill here because my light bill, my water bill, my trash bill, my internet, and my cable, everything is all on one bill here. So that's why you only see me paying just this. The only thing separate that I have to pay from my utilities is my gas bill. So I won't use these waters for my water bill because everything is all in that one bill, which is very convenient. And that is one reason why I really don't want to move out of this area because I love the fact that I can pay all of my bills on one bill. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, let's see, I don't think I have anything due this week. That is my free week. I don't have anything due. This is St. Patrick's Day. And when I'm going on vacation on the 17th. So the next thing that I have to do is my car notes. So let's add a little buggy here, a little car here. And that is on the 21st. Okay, and then on the 24th, I have a sale bill. Cell phone here. And then I also have a cell phone bill that's due on the 26th. And the 26th, I also have my car insurance. So that is my car insurance, my home insurance, my life insurance, and car, home, life, and there's something else on there. I can't remember. But yeah, I don't, I'm going to wreck my brain trying to remember what else is on there. And then on the 30th, I do have my gas bill. And I don't know if y'all remember a while back, I was saying that we got a new company that came in and our gas bills went up. And now they have a lawsuit out because they feel like... Um, they came in price gouging. Everybody's bill around the state 
went up. Y'all, some people bill went from $35 to $600. It was ridiculous, but they have an active lawsuit now trying to figure out why everybody bill has, like, went up sky high. So, hopefully, our bill will go back down eventually. Um, but that is all I have to set my bills up. And... I'm going to put St. Patrick's Day right here. So I purchased this book from um, Hobby Lobby. It's Agenda 52. And I did purchase it on sale. I didn't pay $17.99 for it. I always go when Hobby Lobby have that 40% off sale. If I see something, I'll wait till they have that 40% off sale. All their Agenda 52 or Paper Studio items and i'll go back and i'll get it then so let's see what they have for st patty's day okay so i think we have two sheets of each one in here and i already pulled that one off Add a little bit of green on here. We can add that here. St. Patrick's Day right here. And then I am going to add a few more stickers in here. So I know what I'm looking for. I just don't know which one it's in. And that's the thing about having all of these sticker books. And I thought it was in here. I know it's got to be in here. This is a mini. Here it is. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Okay, so my budget review is going to be here on the 31st. And I am also going to stick a savings goal up here. how much I want to save for March. Mm. I'm trying to see if I want to do um, add a little color to this and I'm just going to put reward yourself because I am going on vacation and I know I've been budgeting and it's going to be so hard for me to spend any money, even though I have money set aside for my vacation. 
that I set aside last year in my online bank account. But even when I have that money transferred, it's going to be hard for me to spend it because I've gotten so used to, you know, spending my money wisely. But I deserve, I, I know I deserve to do something for myself, something nice, something fun. So I am going to put that there for a little reminder to just reward myself and try to have fun, y'all, and not worry about cash stuff in and i know i am going to take you guys on my vacation because it was paid for um because i did budget and from saving my one dollar bills i was able to pay for a cruise that i'm going to take all week y'all that is so exciting to me um to me for me everything y'all is it's exciting that I actually budgeted and saved my $1 bills to pay for that trip. Um, but I think that is all I am going to do for this setup. Like I said, I keep this to a minimum. But let me grab my washi tape. Okay, so I do have some washi tape for each month. And I already don't even see my washi tape for March. I'm not sure where it said. But I do have one. It said Lucky. And I don't see it. I have this, but it's kind of small. Um, can I do this? You are my pot of gold. Or does it need to be? Pot of gold is for March. Oh, man. Where is my March? Let's look at my other one. I am all about <laughs> my planners here. And if you are about your planners, you understand too. I know y'all got all this stuff too. Okay, so. Oh, that's not going to be cute at all. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What this look like? Well, I got some green in it. I'm going to use that one. I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna get my little color here. And then I think I wanna do silver. All right, so I'm gonna fold this over. We're just gonna do a little, little bit of decoration here. And as y'all see, I cannot resist it. I said I wasn't going to decorate too much, which I'm not going to decorate too much, but yeah, I couldn't resist this. Because I want, to, want it to look at least a little bit cute when I open it up. Make it a little bit appealing. Ooh, and I didn't even go to the end of the page there. And I think I purchased all of these washi tapes from Hobby Lobby. I know this silver one I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'm not sure where I got these little cutters from. It's just a little, like a small box cutter. I'm not sure 
where I purchased it from. It could have been Hobby Lobby, but I don't know. Ooh, and I should have made that gold. How do I look? Okay, it's gonna go. I don't like this this um, washi tape, but it will do because it's green. I wish I could show y'all my other one. It was so cute. It had four, four leaf clovers on it, and it says luck, lucky on it. And I had it, but I don't know what I did with it. And if you don't have one of these um, box cutters, you can use a debit card. You can use anything to kind of cut your tape. If you need to use scissors, you can use scissors. But, so I wanna add some green up here. Might as well, I got it out. Might as well use it. Turn it around, see how it looks. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't think I like it. Hold on. I really don't care for that up there, but it is okay. Let me see. Do I want to put some at the bottom here? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and put this up here at the top and then uh -oh, leave it as is. See if I can do it this way. I always have to turn my books upside down so I can see to make sure it's on the paper right where I need it to be. But they don't look like it's right. Yeah, and don't say I'm horrible at these kind of videos because I have to flip my books upside down. I don't know if anybody else do that or is it just me? I just be having to see. If I was standing up, I probably could do it. But I am sitting down at my desk. All right, so here is my spread just for my bills. And this is all that I use my budget book for. Is my bill so you guys know it don't get that decorative but we do a little bit that will make it appealing so guys that is it and that is all I will go in and I will fill in my amounts because I don't have them right now um, in front of me I don't want to put the wrong thing and then have to go back in and wipe it out but that is it and that is all for this video I really really appreciate each and every one of you that stopped by and check this video out. And if you are still here, I really, really appreciate you. But you guys know, I want you to hit that like, subscribe, that notification bell, and leave me a comment. And as always, guys, hustle hard, budget hard, but pray harder. See you later, Queenies. Bye.